Okay. Well, imagine not being able to use your water, even worse, dealing with an awful smell. One of our viewers in Charlotte contacted us saying she's been dealing with this exact situation for weeks now. Despite the major plumbing issue, she claims her property management has been no help. The holidays have been anything but merry for Amanda Monio. I've had to stay at hotels, had to stay at friends' places. It's a frustrating situation she says started a couple of weeks ago. I had an issue where I was, took a shower and I noticed none of the water was going down. And I called the maintenance line and I explained what was going on. So two days later, not even right away, they sent Charlotte Plumbing out and Charlotte Plumbing deemed that the issue was a root blockage from the oak tree. Amanda lives here on Cricketeer Drive in the University Park North area of Charlotte. She says the plumbers had to bust a pipe open to get the water to drain properly. Amanda claims her property management company, Evernest, was sent an estimate. So I guess my landlord didn't really get back to me, but sent someone else out for a separate estimate. But she claims that was two weeks ago and since then. It has been two weeks of me emailing every day, calling every day with no response as to what's happening. Charlotte Plumbing told me not to use the water um, because I can't. And Amanda says to make matters worse. The blockage of where the oak tree is and where they busted the pipe, it, it just smells horrible. Like I like we'll try I feel bad when the mailman walks by because I can see they're like dodging it. That's when Amanda reached out to us and we did some digging. We found out Everness manages thousands of properties in well over two dozen cities across the US, with numerous listings in Charlotte alone. Like I don't understand how a landlord can do that to someone when it's such a health hazard. And we have reached out to Everness to get answers about the situation. We haven't heard back yet. Now, if you have tips like this viewer, you can share them with us by emailing newstips at wcnc.com.